In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up mini games in Streamlabs Chatbot. My name is Tree and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I show every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European Time on twitch.tv slash tree. Link is underneath in the description. Before you start with this tutorial, you need to connect your Streamlabs chatbot with your Twitch. If you have not done that yet, you definitely need to do that. And if you don't know how, I've got a video about it right here in the card above. So we're in Streamlabs chatbot right now. What we're going to do is we're going to click this away because we don't need that. <laughs> and we're going to go to the left side here and click on mini games. There's a couple of different mini games. There's Heist, Duel, Free For All and Boss Battle. We're going to start off with the Heist. If you want the Heist, you can turn it on like that. There's a command for it, exclamation mark heist. You can change this in whatever you want. What the heist does is you go to this fictional bank and you're gonna try and rob it with everybody who joins the heist. You can do this with whatever you want. You can go to Bowser's castle and try to steal Peach back. Literally whatever you want and you can just change this command to the thing that fits your stream. Well, we have a cooldown here. It's 15 minutes right now. This is the cooldown for the heist to be triggered. You don't want the heist to happen all the time. So make sure that there is a cooldown here so people don't keep spamming the heist. One note is that for the heist, people need points. And these points are actually from the currency tab. You can see right here, this is the currency tab. If you haven't set up that yet and you have questions about the currency tab, I would recommend watching this video about the currency. Talking about that currency, that's what it says here. Minimal entry to maximum amount 200. This is the amount of currency they need to pay to join the heist. The more currency they spend on this heist, the more they can actually win with this heist. So it is beneficial for them to spend a lot, but it's also more of a risk to spend more. Then we have a start delay here. What this means is that if somebody does exclamation mark heist for the next two minutes, other people can still join the heist and go with them on the raid. Then we can set who can join. So for now, for me, everybody can join. But if you would like subscribers to be able to join, you can set this on subscribers. There's minimal rank points and hours, which again goes back to the currency tab right here. If you want to learn more about that, you know the video now. Huh? <laughs> but um, if we click on one of those, we can also fill in the requirements in this area here. But for everyone, regular VIPs and everything like that, you don't have to fill this in. Besides from that, some basic info, what we can also do is actually click on the cockwheel here. This gives us a lot more information about the heist and we can actually set how lucky they can be. So here we have the probability of winning. The chance of winning right now for a normal viewer is 40%. That means that if you would join 10 times, most likely four of them you would win and you would lose points in the long run. People that are regular in my chat have 50% chance. There is basically no win in joining it unless you're lucky. And then for subscribers, it's 60% for me, which means that if subscribers join a heist, in the long run, they will probably win points instead of lose them. And then we can also give a chance for moderators. For me, that's just 50% because I don't want to give moderators more points or anything like that. The last one is game wisp sub chance. I do not have any game wisp subs because I don't have it. I don't even know what it is. I think it's something like pay Patreon. But um, yeah, if you do have that, you can connect it to the chatbot as well. And then here we can also set out the, the payout. So right now for viewers, if they win, they get 120%. So if I set 100 points to be my highest amount, then I get 120 points back. If I'm a regular, I get 125 back. For a subscriber, 130. For a moderator, 125. And I don't have that for Game Wisp subs because I don't have Game Wisp. So you can basically decide how much chance they have and you can decide how much they're actually going to win. Another thing we can set is here on this, well, chat message icon. Here, you you probably be pretty intimidated by the amount of text, but um, no worries. You can keep this all on the default settings if you don't want to change it. But if you want to customize your highs to something like finding Peach in the Bowser castle, you can change this whole text. I would recommend that you keep these pieces of code in, code, <laughs> as they actually translate to a number. So. Um, dollar sign username actually means the user that actually joins. So if I do start a heist, it will say Trui. But you can change the rest of it. So what I did is, Trui is putting together a team to relieve the elderly of their prize knitting sweater, knitted sweaters. So because my name actually means sweater in Dutch, I thought that was funny. And then type command, because this is the command they need to use. Uh, and then the amount to join. 
what I do recommend is you keep the username in and this part about the command, what they need to do to actually join the heist. But the rest of the text, you can just customize to whatever you want. Uh, this, what I have is not the default text, of course, that would be weird. Uh, but you can change this and customize it yourself to something funny. And then the cooldown message, it seems like Dr. Phil is on TV right now. Any elderly people are sure to be awake right now. And then you see the cooldown. So for me, what I said is there's a cooldown. That's the cooldown message, right? Uh, and a cooldown joke. Dr. Phil is on TV, so we can't steal Spanish now because the elderly will definitely notice. <laughs> and then the cooldown um, is gone. And then I have the elderly have gone to, uh, to take a nap. Time to take what's yours and then uh, type command. So this means that it's off cooldown right now. You can keep this all in the default settings, but I thought it was funny to make a little joke out of it. We got that for the other things as well, like starting message, like, oh, we're starting raid, results, oh, this is what happened. Then we have um, fail to start message, oh, there's something went wrong. Maybe they don't have enough um, sweater points for me, you know, because they're just stealing sweaters. <laughs> but just enough currency to join and then we have some solo outcomes some group outcomes so you can basically um, set this all what you want and then we have display entry message so you can turn this on and off so if you want the bot to acknowledge that i joined the raid keep this on if you think that's a little bit spammy you can turn this off and then uh, we basically set the heist command or well you can call it differently and then it's differently but it's still a heist mini game right <laughs> now we have the duo here again turn it on with this button the duo basically makes it possible for two people to duel what they do is i say like hey you do you want to duel me for 100 sweaters and then this person can either accept it or deny it again here it says duel but you can change that to whatever you want we've got a cooldown just like with the heist and then we have the time for it to expire this means that if I send you a duel and you would not be replying between now and two minutes, it will be cancelled. And then the cost it costs to actually duel, so now it costs 10 sweaters to do it. Or 10, whatever you have, gold, coins, uh, whatever you want. Joining permission, same as above here, everyone, and if you have set like rank or points or anything like that, you can put that info in here. And then here again, we can set our custom messages. Again, recommending that you keep those pieces of code in, but you can change the rest of the sentence, whatever you like. And I'm not gonna go over them one by one because um, I think they're pretty clear that this is a starting message. This is the abort message. If it got canceled and everything like that, you can, you can find that out. I, I believe in you. So free for all, we can turn it on again. And this is kind of a battle royale. So if I start a battle royale, the free-for-all, that's why it's like exclamation mark royale right now. More people can join again, it will have like a start delay, so in the two minutes people can join. You can set this higher or lower if you want. And then for 15 sweaters they can jump in. The winner takes all basically. The person who, who stands at the end of the battle royale gets all the prize money. Again, you can set it on everybody, subscribers, moderators, amount of hours they watched. And then here the info if you took like rank, points or hours they have to watch. Minimum amount of currency they need to spend and maximum amount of survivors. So if you want more than one person to be able to win, you need to set this higher. But I feel like winner takes all, right? Here we can set the custom messages again. Make it whatever you want, as long as you keep the code in. And the last one is a boss battle. Again, we can turn it on right here and we can change the command name to whatever you like. So what is a boss battle? So here you don't compete against each other, but against the boss. So everybody who joins the raid can win and come out of this battle. As long as you guys defeat the boss in the boss battle. So there's a cooldown for how often people can start in. The starting delay again in those two minutes people can join the cost to join right now is 50 points you can set that on whatever and everybody can join but you can also set info for minimum ranks and hours and points you can set on regular fip subscribers again whatever you want i i think it's amazing that this bot allows you for so many customizations but it also gets a little bit confusing if you don't really understand it then here on the left we have this thing it says player status so here, you can set the stats of this person who joins the raid. So for a viewer, they have 100 health, 10 attack, 10 dodge, and 5 defense. For a regular, well, I've set them all the same, but you can set them differently. So you can get uh, give more health to subscribers, for example, and they have more chance to actually defeat the boss like that. Then you can also set the boss stats by clicking on this one. And you can add bosses. So I can add a boss. We can name uh, the Big Sweater. 
The big sweater needs at least two people to, to join, uh, max of five people, so you can send multiple bosses. So for example, you can set a boss for one person, you can set a boss for 10 people. The loot is 100 points, so the people that survive will divide that 100 points. The health of this boss is 50, it will do 50 attack damage, 50 dodge chance and 10 defense. So if you make it like 10 attack, for example, this, this boss is going to be a lot easier to um, to defeat. So we can calculate the chances of them winning by clicking on there. The, the chance of surviving is now 79%, so that's a lot, right? So if we put it back on 50 and we calculate it again, the chance of winning is literally zero. The boss wins 100% of the time, so this is not good. You want to like kind of find a way that it's around uh, a ratio that the surviving people can actually survive, but the boss uh, will also not be too easy. Uh, boss wins a lot of the times. So 15 attack apparently gets us 42% win ratio on survivors and 50% win ratio per player. So these stats seem to look a little bit more accurate <laughs> than the ones that were in here before. And then we can submit this boss and now this, uh, this boss will appear if there's two to five people entering a raid, a boss battle. And if you have these all on, you've got all these mini games on, you can decide to either put one on, put them all on, or just half of them on. Just see for yourself what do you like to use in your channel and do you like to customize it. I'd love to know if you guys have cool ideas for customization, so tell me about them in the comments below. And to show you more about Streamlabs Chatbot, I got a lot more videos about it, so just hop into this place with me and I'll see you there.